Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. You've landed on Jill and Beauty Therapy and we're about ready to have a wig chat. We're going to be taking a look at two brand new styles from the Rakow Welch line for fall 2022. We're going to take a look at this one and we're going to take a look at a really classic timeless style as well. Two different colors we're going to look at today so that's going to be kind of fun and I like how very different these styles are from each other. So let's get going. We're actually not going to start with this one. We're actually going to start with portrait mode in the color SS Cafe Latte. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> Man. <laughs> wow. Um, so this truly is a first impression. I sat down here to record, had to open up the shipment box, and this is the first time that I'm seeing this on my head. Okay, first of all, I'm trying to rack my brain to think if I have any experience yet with this color. And I'm gonna be really embarrassed if I have, but I don't think I have done or seen any styles yet in this color myself personally I have to say this is gorgeous what a beautiful gorgeous color to sort of start your fall with I think it's it's really really pretty so what I'm you know sort of admiring right off the bat is how that this this beautiful sort of highlighting is framing the face I think that's brightening and just really pretty. And, and Rakow Welch generally does that. But I like that there's not a thick banding, you know, right around the hairline. Because that, on the other hand, I don't care for so much. But I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing this, this really pretty sort of natural highlight. They're taking that color that is throughout this entire color. It's definitely throughout. It's what I think is giving this a really pretty sort of warmth to this color, but it's definitely a little bit heavier right around the hairline, and I think that's gorgeous. I have to say, it doesn't happen very often when I stick a wig on my head, and I haven't even really even fluffed it up or anything, and uh, I'm already going, wow, that for me, that actually doesn't happen very often. And this is this is a wow. So so before we just sort of dive into this a little bit, let's take a spin so you can see what this looks like all the way around. And remember, all the specs, the links that will take you directly to the styles that I talk about, even my own head measurements will always be found down below in the description area below the video. So that's kind of where it falls on me. I do not have a particularly tall neck at all. If you do, then you're probably going to see this fall a little differently on you than you're seeing on me. Um, man, wow. Okay, I'm going to break up the crisscross part a bit. And just kind of lift the fibers up and off the cap a bit as well. I'm gonna take those little metal stays that you will find in the nape. There's one here on each side and they are vertical. And just remember to kind of pinch those in 
kind of cup the back of your nape back there. It, it helps to keep the back from not popping up and looking a little unnatural. So don't forget to do that. I want to say almost every single wig that you put on your head should have those metal stays back there, you know, so you can do that. We will definitely take a look at this cap. We'll do that at some point. This style has full, I want to say I'm a little crooked. Yeah. This has full monofilament, so that means that you can part this anywhere that you want in here. This is where it basically came when it was shipped. Sometimes you can struggle a little bit if you want to change it up. Sometimes it's no big deal. Uh, this one, just doing this, doesn't seem to be giving me too much of a hassle. But having that full monofilament is so nice because it does give you the freedom to part it really anywhere you want within this whole crown. And you get this really super realistic part-like scalp appearance. And that's what monofilament gives you. And it is a feature that just for me definitely gives me a boost of confidence when I wear my pieces, knowing that I have this really nice, realistic part going on there. And it is a feature that definitely escalates the price a bit, but you don't have to necessarily spring for styles that have full monofilament. There are styles that are not quite as expensive that have just a left side monofilament part. And it gives you generally a little bit of wiggle room. They're not very wide generally, but it does give you a little bit of wiggle room. You can have a deeper part over there or, you know, just be happy with kind of right in that center area. When you have just that sort of side monofilament part, you'll find that the cost is not quite as much as the feature of the entire crown having that monofilament. Another feature that Raquel Welch I think excels at when you start comparing brands and the same features that they offer, because they're not always as good as each other, but Raquel Welch has really some of the best lace fronts in the industry, in my opinion. And this particular style actually is a temple to temple lace front. It starts petering off you know it starts sort of getting a little skinnier as it comes down here but it really stops right here so it's truly a temple to temple lace front and what lace fronts give you is a very realistic sort of growth it looks like these are growing right out of your own head you know right out of your own scalp and you can see that here you know, and so because that lace really kind of stops, you can kind of right about here, you're going to have that look all the way down to the temple. So if you don't have any hair at all, you're still going to have that beautiful look that it is just growing right out of the side of your head there, all the way down. And that's, that's lovely. That is a beautiful, beautiful feature to have. It's sleek, it's professional. It's just one of those that you're gonna look completely pulled together, you know, when you walk out the door with no effort at all. Plop it on your head, run your fingers through it, break the part up, definitely get the fibers up and off the cap. You're good to go. I would definitely have to put a little bit of some kind of hairspray on here, and that's mostly to contain any flyaways. I'm not battling those at the moment, so I hopefully this is going to be one of those styles that's not going to drive me nuts because some of it, some styles are worse with that than others for some reason. It's probably the type of fiber, but um, this one isn't doing that too awful bad. But I definitely do spray a little hairspray on all of my styles before I head out the door. I feel like this has just the right amount of body and lift. I'm not afraid of body. I, after all, you know, grew up in the 80s. But even so, this is really nicely done. Um, not feeling, you know, a ton of permities. There's some here in the crown. 
that I'm feeling. But we need that. We need some lift back there to give us a pretty profile. Very nicely done. And I love the body in this style. I think it's perfect. And it doesn't feel wiggy at all. Feel very comfortable in this. I mean, there's not much more to say really about this. This color, however, is knocking my socks off. I think this is gorgeous. It is really, really pretty. If you are a brunette and you would like to go a little lighter, this would be a great color to sort of dip your toe in that a little bit because it's going to give you a, a feel of sort of going toward the blondes without committing and even just this nice natural sort of transition for your mind and your sense of sort of not shocking yourself. Yeah. Gosh, yeah, the color is gorgeous. So well done. Really pretty. So this is portrait mode in the color SS Cafe Latte, and it's gorgeous. There is that full monofilament, the gorgeous lace front. Do you see how it goes right to here? More than halfway down that temple tab or the ear tab there. And by the way, these ear tabs are so comfortable. They're lined in this really nice, soft, sort of velvety material. We do have an extended nape on this style with, again, those vertical stays. We have the Velcro pull tabs. Bring it in a half inch on each side or let it out a half inch on each side if needed. We have this gorgeous, beautiful, very comfortable cap. Raquel Welch makes some of the most comfortable caps. So this is machine wefted. And again, we have that full monofilament. You have a little less stretch with full amount of filament for obvious reasons than you would, you know, if this wasn't full amount of filament. But you still get a good amount, just not as much. I mean, I mean, this is my ideal cap. It has everything that I love in a wig cap for sure. Before I put this one on though, let's take a look at this cap because we do have now a left side monofilament part so we get to see what that looks like so this is where you can part it and you will get a scalp like very natural part and scalp appearance however we do have the temple to temple lace front on this one there's a little bit of permatease here on the side we have the machine weft going on same comfortable ear taps we've got those metal stays in this as well we still have a extended nape very soft material same pull tabs let's get this one on wow first of all look at this holy cow <laughs> Woo. interesting layering situation interesting uh interesting how we have the layers going on there Huh, we'll see what that looks like on. All right. Wow, okay, we have some serious box hair here. And I could see it before I even got it on. Do you see what this is doing? Never had that happen before with a Raquel Welch wig. <laughs> this is, okay, this is a good example. It's like, Okay, you're super excited about it. You've been waiting for it to get here and you stick it on your head and it looks like this. 
you know, it happens. Let's see what we can do about this. So right off the bat, I'm gonna make sure I have this on. I'm gonna cup those metal stays back here, kind of get it going toward the neck. These ones are definitely not as firm as the other ones. And these are good though. These are good and firm here on the side. You wanna do the same. You don't want these to pop up here on the side. The thing, the place that I'm really interested in <laughs> is what's going on here here at the part it's like flat and then up and over I'm also having this weird kind of poofiness go on which is really strange okay and I'm not sure about this cut at this point of the game I'm, you know, I just went on and on about how I really love the way they shape the styles, and I'm really flabbergasted by this one. Seriously, very, very flabbergasted. Okay. I gotta do something about this. Where is that? Okay. also was saying that I like how she does this but this one's this one's a little over the top okay maybe I will maybe it needs to go over again I have this weird poofing right here it's weird it's fitting me fine everywhere else it's not like it's super large and you know what else? I feel like the monofilament is, it's there, but I also think they put too much fibers in, which is something I had never come across with a Raquel Welch piece. Because look, I really, really am having a hard time seeing that monofilament in there. Okay, I'm gonna try not to fight this too much. I'm just, I'm just, I want to know what it was they were going for. Because at this point, I'm feeling like I look like a 1970s Dolly Parton sort of style going on here. Um, yeah, this, this is, this is, I do know this is heat friendly because a non-heat friendly style is not offered in Shaded Biscuit. So, whoa, what are we doing? I think we may have found one that really has stumped me. Again, guys, I have not watched any other reviews or, you know, any other anything. So I don't know if this is um, this particular unit, this particular piece, or if everyone was struggling like I am. <laughs> okay, I, oh God, I am just, you guys, what's happening? Like, you know, a big curler was put in and it went down like this. And that's what we're doing right here. I'm just going to kind of direct these fibers to calm down. Calm down, fibers. Come on now. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back because I want you to see the length of this I'm also going to do I'm also going to do a spin while I'm back here so I'm going to do that I'll do that now let's just do that okay I have no idea what's going on back there okay wow okay spinning
I am just trying to figure out this style. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit, I don't know, you guys, I am really perplexed. I'm having a really weird thing happen. I have so much space right here. So much space. Like I can grab this much um, of the wig right here. So I have this, this going on, which is not helping this at all. And yet I have it pulled down where it needs to be. I have this on where it needs to be, but I have all this space, almost like a cone head thing going on here. This is so weird. So we have that going on. Um, we have, we do have this big thing of permatease right here that I think also might be causing some of this poofing, but yet no permatease over here, none over here, but we do have a lot like right in here, not a lot, but we do have some permatease and it goes, we have a lot of permatease actually. Yeah, we do. There's, there's quite a bit of permatease in this which normally it's like, hey, you know, I can deal with that if it's done right and in the right place. But see, along with that, we have all of this short layering. I like to try to figure out sort of what their vision was, um, <laughs> what their vision was. Being a cosmetologist, you know, I, I like to kind of do that and just, you know, just kind of see what they were going for. I would never, I hate doing this, you guys. I hate talking like this, but I, I wouldn't cut the, I, where's the blending? Where's the blending in this? You know, you've got to have like a gentle blending. And it goes all the way around. That's the thing. This, this shortness here goes all the way around. I would love to know. And this, this big, big, like a massive amount of, I would have to alter that, like literally sew this to where it would sit closer to my head. Um, and there is quite a bit of permatease as well. So, and then we have the monofilament that, um, you can't really see very well. This would turn into more of an updo wig for me. I would not feel comfortable wearing this down, not just because of length. I have plenty of long wigs that I would feel comfortable with that. I would definitely have to style this one and I would have to put it up and which, you know, this could be an awesome one to do that because I have a lot of fun sort of layers that I can deal with and yet some length that would give me a really pretty sort of tail. So that's what we're doing today, folks. <laughs> we're going to put this one up. I feel like I'm a country singer, like I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and this is, I just, yeah, I mean, it, I am into big hair, guys, but, and you know, more than that, again, it's, I'm, I'm not digging the shape. I'm not digging the shape of this one at all. I'm not sure if I got a funky one or what, and quality control, which I can't imagine that's the case. I don't know, but yeah. So I'm going to use this really big claw clip here to put this up. Uh, I'm going to, hold on, I need to get some other things. And I'm going to try to casual this a little bit, you know? I mean, I can't. I am going to, we're going to deal with this. And it's going to be so cute when we're done. It's going to be so cute. It's going to be great. So I, I use these clips. They are secure. I like the three-pronged thing. And uh, so I have a lot of these. I should have wore this bracelet today. I'm gonna to put that on. So, let's deal with this. I'm gonna do what I would normally do. I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna leave some out. We're gonna have some out, maybe, maybe not. Yes, no, yes, yeah, a little bit. We're gonna do like this. Now, we do have to be a little careful because we have, we have wefts over here. So what I do, because I do this plenty with that 
situation is I usually pull up from the lace. So we have that lace front that comes down pretty far. So I'll pull it up to the lace to cover up that weft on that side. And I'm going to first, so geez, there's a lot of permittees. I'm just sitting here feeling all the permittees, but that's gonna be great because this is gonna be, this is gonna be a really great wig to do updos with. We're gonna have no problems like securing this in or anything. So when I do my updos, I do them really quickly usually, and I separate the hair in three parts. So I do the top first and I decide kind of how much I want to have here. And I'm really into the whole 90s poof thing. And there's one thing this wig is not gonna be short on and that is giving us poof. And we have wefts and we have permities. So we're also not gonna have really, oh, any problems um, securing this either. So I usually do one on one side and then I grab another one and I kind of get it on the other side. Sometimes they overlap there, which is fine. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right, so we have we have that going on. So now I'm gonna take, and breaking it up like this just makes it more manageable, and it gives me a look that I really like. So, so then the next thing, I'm already liking this better, just getting this off. Sometimes I will do the top like that, and literally then all I'll do is I'll tuck, I'll tuck the sides behind my ear, and I go out the door like that, and so, see how cute that is actually and you can even um here's here's like a, a clip you can uh clip this right about there another one and i can clip that right about there and i think that's really cute so i think you can tell body language wise I already like it a lot better. So don't give up even on something like this. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful styling wig. And for me, what that means is doing things like this. We're gonna take this also completely up because we have so many things going for us in this wig. We have body, we have the permities, we have the length, and we have a ton of layers right where we need them so we can manipulate it and really quickly do some fabulous updos and just things like this. These are clutch wigs. These are wigs you do want in your collection because it's gonna just sort of give you all of this wonderful versatile sort of stuff that you can do. And while this isn't necessarily a put on your head, grab and go for me, these things don't take long and it's still a quick way for me to get out the door and um, still have this fabulous, gorgeous look. Let's, let's continue this whole thing here. We're gonna put the whole thing up. And I have shown you in other videos. I wonder if we can just, no, we're gonna have to take this out. I have shown you in at least one other video exactly how I do my updos and how I deal with the nape area and how I give a, a really messy, sort of very believable look, even when you're putting your wigs up. I think the key is to not get it super sleek and tight. We want loose, we want tendrils, we want it to look effortlessly messy. And the more you do that, it's going to just fool everyone because it's all the illusion. It's not just perfection. And I think that is where wigs shine is really kind of that effortlessly sort of messy thing going on. So if I'm gonna put this up, then I think what I would do is I would roll, I would take a, a section here on the side. Again, it just gives me a look I like, and it just kind of 
gets this segmented sort of out of my way so I'm not overwhelmed with the sheer amount that I need to deal with when I put these up. What did I do? With I that? probably am going to stop it right here at the tip of my ear. I think that's the guide I generally do without thinking about it, but I try to think about it when I'm showing you guys things. Um, I don't have another clip handy. I have a ton of those, but not right here. So I'm going to take the same clip thing and I'm just going to put it in and I'll, I'll exchange this one for the other one that I took out. This one doesn't really match. Oh wait, this, this is the one I think I am. So again, I'm just going to roll that. I'm going to find a weft, run it through really carefully. Like, uh, yes, I put it through a weft, but I didn't bring the weft up to it. I found a weft very close to it, so I'm not stretching that out. You have to be very careful. So now I'm going to take the rest of it here. Okay, and before I commit to putting it up, I am going to pull out kind of some of my own nape hair. I can also do that after I have it up as well. I like to pull out before I sort of wind it up and put it up. I like to pull out a little bit of the wig, you know, a little bit of tendrils back there because if I do it after it ends up messing up the whole thing. So I do that before. Okay. Now I roll it and I'm going to put the clip right about here. These big clips work great. Okay. I grab a weft somewhere in there. And then I'm going to pull this. I am going to pull this down, make that look messy. We have a little tail up here, so that's nice. This, this style of this piece is a little bizarre to me and I, I really just still have a hard time figuring out what they were going for in not just the style but the weird fit for me is just so bizarre I just don't understand it exactly what happened there I don't know but you know what 100% honest with you this is going to be one that I probably, ironically, will be reaching for a lot this fall because it has all of these wonderful features that I can't overlook. It's got the gorgeous temple to temple lace front. It's a color that I adore. It's got so many layers and things going on that these updos and the different ways that I can style this is going to be so fun for me. 
I don't take a lot of time doing these styles, you guys. I don't. Uh, if it doesn't go up real fast, it ends up going off my head and I go for something else. But eight times out of 10, I can do something really quick with these. And you can too. Yes, I would definitely have a lot easier time doing this if I had a mirror that I could look at. So the back didn't turn out exactly like I would be comfortable with going out the door, but you can bet I will make sure that it would. But this here is Stroke of Genius and it's in the color Shaded Biscuit. We looked at Portrait Mode in the color SS Cafe Latte. And I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. And I hope that this helped you out in some capacity as you are searching for maybe your first wig or another piece to add to your collection this fall. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.